35 Pendale Drive. The first place I lived when we moved across country from California to Amityville, New York. My grandparents' house, Mimi and Poppy. My brother and I shared the pink room with my mother. We shared one twin bed and my mother slept on the other one kind of across the room. Sometimes it was across the room and it was like this. Uncle Gene was older than us, but still a kid. He was the first bully we ever knew. He used to scare us when it was time for bed by hiding in the shadows at the top of the stairs and moaning as we headed up the stairs. I remember one day he sat on my brother's chest in the front yard and made him eat grass. Man, he was a jerk. <laughs> we moved out a few years later, right around the corner. My great-grandmother, Gran, lived just behind me and Poppy's house, so we were a little village um, all in a one block radius. That was our world until I was eight and mom remarried. Mimi died last Monday. Her funeral was Friday. And as we were leaving the burial site and heading back for the repast, I told my brother Morgan, just drive straight so we could go to Mimi's house one more time. As we drove past, a man was taking his grandson out of the car in her driveway. She sold her house a few years ago after Poppy died uh, to move into an apartment. I got out of the car to ask the man if I could take a picture of myself in front of the house, but he only spoke Spanish, and I don't speak Spanish un poquito. Lucky thing, Morgan was fluent in Spanish, so I told him to get out of the car and translate. Um, when Jose, the homeowner, learned that we grew up in this house. He immediately invited us in and started speaking machine gun Spanish to my brother. And he told his wife um, what was going on and she immediately hugged us and told her to call her Tia and pulled us into the house. And as soon as we saw the staircase right by the door, the fireplace and the kitchen where we used to come through the back door and just like ask for lemonade or anything to eat before we jumped on our bikes to head to the next adventure, saw all those things and the smell of chicken or zucchini frying and Poppy sitting at the head of the table watching the news and smoking. I just, I lost it. They let us go upstairs. I got to see the pink room and all these memories started flooding back. Uh, I, I wasn't ready for all of that. I didn't cry a tear at the funeral, but here in this familiar in this family house in front of strangers, I cried freely. And in all of the memories, I couldn't stop thinking, would I have let strangers into my house? Could I be this generous in the moment? And I gave Tia and Jose hug after hug. We went back downstairs to leave, but before we did, Tia and Jose told us that whenever we were back to Amityville, that we were always welcome. Always. Siempre. This is your house, too. 35 Pendale Drive, no matter who lives there, the energy of love and generosity will always exist in those, those four walls. <laughs>